Hi, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Josh and today we're doing a walk around video of this 2011 Mitsubishi Pajero Platinum. Now for those of you familiar with the Pajero, you know they are an incredible platform. They haven't changed in years. So the 2011 model still has all the great features that the new one, the MY20 does. However, a couple minor technology changes. I'm going to walk you through the condition and the overall features of the vehicle itself. As you can see, that front end, the iconic Pajero front end with that chrome grille, the nice big bubbly headlights and subtle accessory, but a couple of things do stand out as the previous owner has actually looked after this vehicle. Those headlight covers do protect your headlights from stone chips and cracks and they are going to, well, save you the cost of a brand new headlight. On the bonnet here, you have also got your Pajero bonnet protector, which is gonna stop a lot of stone chips from your bonnet and windshield. Below the headlight, you've got your headlight washers, and under that again, fog light with fog light covers, which isn't something you see very often. Now, paintwork along the front end for a 2011 model, and these kind of kilometers does actually present really well. It has got a couple of minor stone chip touch-ups, but overall, a very well-presented Pajero. That first alloy wheel, beautiful condition, that is unmarked, and those open country tires do, have still, do still have plenty of tread left in them, so good good quality tires on this vehicle along this side of the vehicle paintwork presents in beautiful condition you've got the chrome side mirrors and door handles and for those of you vertically challenged you do actually get a side step to help you get in and out on the windows you do get your weather shields if you want to put your windows down a little bit when you are when it is raining now on the inside Pajero scuff plates as well with the sandpaper grip Pajero badging so it helps you get in and out of the car and protects your paintwork the seat bolsters, really good condition, interior condition, floor, carpeting, and even the door where we kick the door open, once again, very good condition in here as well. Now, the windows have been very slightly tinted, so that's gonna save you a little bit of money down the track. The fuel filler cap is on the passenger side, and you can actually fill it up with the high flow diesel. Now, on the back of the vehicle, continuing here, we have got the clear taillights in this model. Uh, which is a very nice look, does tie in quite nicely with the silver paintwork. Got your platinum DID and the Pajero badging right in the middle of that spare wheel. They're very well set up. You've even got the to genuine tow bar fitted down the bottom. And for those of you who have done your research into Pajeros, you know they are incredible tow vehicles. You've got the spoiler up the top with your rear mounted stoplight. Now in the back of the vehicle, once again, you've got your genuine platinum floor mats in the back here. You've also got underneath the floor, your third row seat which does fold up quite easily and it is very easy to use. We'll show you how to use that when you come in. Now being a Platinum you also get your 10 inch Rockford premium sound system subwoofer in the back here as well so good good quality sound in this vehicle. You've even got the speakers on the rear door. You've also got a lock just here to prevent your door from swinging, um, swinging closed when it is open. Close that back up and we'll keep making our way along the passenger side now. Once again, paintwork along this side. Guys, this car does not look like a 2011 model. It is very, very well looked after. I can't actually stress that enough. That next wheel, once again, uh, on the back of the vehicle, beautiful condition, completely unmarked, and those tires are also in great condition. Making our way along the paintwork, as you can see, as we pan through, it has been very well looked after, so please do your part and add glass coat because that's going to give you an extra warranty on the paintwork. That next wheel, once again, beautiful condition there. What we're going to do now, guys, is pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine. Taking a look under the bonnet now, same as in the early 2000s, it still has got your 3.2 litre turbo diesel engine. And let me tell you, when you drive this vehicle, it is an incredible drive. That five-speed Pajero gearbox is durable and that engine's made to pretty much take you anywhere you need to go. Now, the power output from the engine is 147 kilowatts with a torque rating of 440 newton meters, making it an awesome amount of torque for towing. The diesel fuel tank holds 88 litres, giving you a combined fuel consumption of about 9 litres per 100 and an average fuel distance, depending on your driving style, of about 978 kilometres from a full tank. Taking a look inside the Pajero now, on the driver's side door you do get all your power window controls. The front driver's side is automatic up and down. Above that is your central locking button and your window lock. Now on the right hand side here you've also got your fog light controls and your power mirror controls. 
on the right hand stalk you've got your indicators automatic headlights and your washers on the left hand side here you've got your uh, wipers and your well auto rain sensing wipers on the steering wheel you do get a very nice leather wrapped steering wheel in the Pajero Platinum with cruise control on the right hand side here media on the left and all your hands free call down the bottom now if we have a look in the center display just gonna pop it in reverse quickly show you the nice reverse camera you get so you can see the rear bar and that sorry the spare back of the spare wheel so very easy to actually reverse this vehicle now in terms of audio you have got your AM and FM radio you've got inbuilt navigation and the awesome thing about the screen is if you are taller you can actually tilt it to whatever position is comfortable for you and if you want to put a uh, disc in it does fold down so pretty cool setup in this vehicle down the bottom you've got your climate controls so just press auto set your temperature and the car will decide how it actually needs to regulate the air to get that temperature under here you've got some storage and a little spot for a card whether it's an ID of some kind or a pass now below here got some blank buttons and a 12 volt socket the shifter itself you can drive it as a normal auto or bump it to the left and drive it like a manual if you need the extra control your four-wheel drive selector one of the first vehicles to get a super select system so you can change between your four-wheel drive system uh, your four-wheel drive settings too high and four high on the fly up to 100 kilometers an hour back here's a little bit of storage two cup holders and that armrest which actually does slide forwards and backwards and when you open it up do actually get two components to it inside here you've got a 12 volt socket and plenty of storage now I'm just gonna get the cameraman to pan around the interior because you will notice the seat conditions you've even got a dash mat on the dashboard and roof lining all present really well so even the um, the roof where you would see a lot of marks usually very very well looked after and even the seats um, have been looked after really well on the inside Guys, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the walk around video of this beautiful Pajero. As you can see, it has been very well maintained. Now, one thing I would highly recommend is ask us about the Glasgow because that is going to give you an extra warranty on the paintwork. It's going to protect you against bird droppings, bat droppings, fading, oxidization, and let's face it, when your car looks this good, you want to make it look this amazing for as long as you have it. Now, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us, but before I go, you need to also look at our Google reviews because we are sitting on 4.8 stars and over a thousand reviews from customers all over Australia. It is proof that you are dealing with a reputable dealership, buying a good quality vehicle and we're going to look after you from start to finish and help you be comfortable in your new car. If you have any questions at all, the number to dial is 9907055. My name is Josh and thank you so much for watching.